a dog. We finally get to generative AI. Unlike discriminative models, generative models learn about the patterns in the training data. Then after they receive some input, for example, a text prompt from us, they generate something new based on the patterns they just learned. Going back to the animal example, the pictures or data points are not labeled as cat or dog, so a generative model will look for patterns. Oh, these data points all have two ears, four legs, a tail, likes dog food, and barks. When asked to generate something called a dog, the generative model generates a completely new image based on the patterns it just learned. There's a super simple way to determine if something is generative AI or not. If the output is a number, a classification, spam, not spam, or a probability, it is not generative AI. It is gen AI when the output is natural language, text or speech, an image or audio. Basically, generative AI generates new samples that are similar to the data it was trained on.